Welcome to this old time fiddle lesson on how to play the tune Shelvin Rock by Ernie Carpenter. This tune is an AEAE. -E. It's played in a modal scale and it's also crooked, which means that it has a few extra beats in places, which makes it a little bit interesting with the timing. This is a really fun tune to jam on and play with the band, even though it's crooked. It's a great tune to learn and uh, comes from Ernie Carpenter from West Virginia. And this is an old family tune. Um, he was one of the first families to settle in West Virginia, and they actually lived underneath what they call a shelvin rock here, which is just a, a rock that juts out from an embankment or a cliff that um, provides a dry shelter underneath, where his family is one of the first pioneer families to move to West Virginia. They actually lived underneath what they call a shelvin rock here. So a really interesting tune, great history, fun tune. Um, first, I'll play it for you at full speed. You can get a listen to the melody and hear the tune. Then I'll play it one time slow. Then finally, I'll break it down into phrases and then show you some of the bowings. Let's get started. There you go, shelvin rock, one time through at uh, normal speed so you can get a listen to how it should sound. Now let me play it slow for you one time and you can get a closer look at some of the notes in the melody. All right, there it's a little slowed down. You can get a closer look at that and maybe even some advanced players can just pick up the whole entire melody from there. Um, uh, once again, I'll, I'll go over more of the bowings later on in the lesson. But first, let's just break down this phrase by phrase and make sure that you have um, exactly the phrases you need and you know exactly what the notes are before we take a look at the bowing. So the first phrase um, starts up here. It's pretty much all it is. And it's followed that by that phrase there. So uh, those little fragments put together. <clears throat> uh, let me make sure that's right. Okay, sorry, there is one more note in that first, uh, first half of that. You go down to that G note. And then the second phrase. So that one. And then the uh, second half of the A part starts the same way. Pretty much it. It's the, it's the same uh, same phrases over again. So one more time, the whole entire A part. One thing you can do in this A part, which is a cool variation, which you hear a lot in West Virginia fiddling, especially from the, the Hammonds family and people like this, is this uh, kind of old world ornament, I'd call it, where it's kind of a double strike. It can happen where you just kind of hammer on the note twice. 
And we're going to use that um, in the B part too as an ornament. So it fit into the, into the phrases like this. And you can also like that just make the um, the A part a little bit notier too. But it's really subtle. That's pretty much the gist of the A part. Now let's move on to the B part phrases. Um, we're gonna start with this feature where we're just gonna slide into this E note with our pinky while playing the open E string, that classic old time fiddle move. And we're gonna do two of those notes and that's gonna be the crooked part, <clears throat> excuse me, where you're gonna hear um, Pretty much the first part um, and like I said that first note's a little bit crooked so you just hold it a couple more beats than what you would expect. And then you hit that low drone. So those are the first two phrases. tag right there. That's one way to play it. You could also add in the, um, what is it, the G sharp note here if you want to make it a little bit more notey. Either way works. So for review, just one more time, the uh, breakdown of, of the first half of the B part. And then the next phrase is going to be followed by If you're getting lost in here at this speed, don't worry, it's quite repetitive. Uh, just try to learn it as best as you can, and then when you are able to speed this up a little bit, um, you'll see exactly how everything fits together. Um, one thing I want to note here is that the other place you can put this ornament is when you go to this, this C sharp note, um, um, you can use this that double uh, double strike ornament as well. All right, there's um, the phrases broken down a little bit more. Now let's talk about the bowing. What I do in this first part, let me play it a little bit faster to make sure that I'm going to be showing you the right bowings. Okay, so here's the first bowing. That's the first bowing that I would typically use. All those on an up bow.
and then just a uh, up up slur with uh, two notes right there. So one more time. Um, and then the, the, the second phrase here. So that's pretty easy. It's just one up slur. Slur. And then uh, you can just play that all just single notes. You could also do that with a down slur coming down into that G note. That's pretty much the bowing I mostly use for the A part with a couple different variations in there. Great bowing there. It'll it'll really uh really help you out if you're trying to play that at tempo and get a good groove. There's a lot of these endings where you have a push up too, where it's bum bum, two up bows. Where just kind of you kind of push on the very tail end of that and you'll get a nice rhythm too. That kind of thing. You can try that. That's how it should sound sped up a little bit. All right, now let's look at the Boeings on the second half. a little bit of uh, what I would typically do in that part so let's break that down a little bit more now the secret here is when I end on a big drone where I'm gonna start the next phrase with an up bow I'll just put up I'll put the pickup notes a B in this case on the up slur so I can start the next downbeat with a de with a down bow. It's pretty much the bowing for the first half. Like you can see I, in the second half of that, I did the up up note slur coming into the pickup notes as well. do that one um, all saw strokes as well this is the second half of the B part That's it. That's pretty much the bowing for the B part. So let's just take a look at that one more time. Like I said, might be a little bit confusing um, this slow, but just remember if you end on a down bow with a big drone strike, you always want to get the first two notes of the next phrase, the pickup notes on an up bow. So when you start on that C sharp, you're going down. <clears throat> 
All right, let's take a look again at the Boeing for the B part. I'll just play the whole thing slow. And like I said, the crooked part, you're basically just going to do slide into it and do it down and up. Now, um, I did one thing different there you can do, once again, it, instead of, uh, if you're going to come into a phrase and you know you're coming down on it, um, where you've already got, you've done a two notes on the, the low drones there where you know the next one's going to be a down bow. Um, instead of playing those all single notes, you can do a three note slur. And it won't mess your bowing up as long as you start um, after the three notes. So you can always do a three note slur if you're, if you're already in a down bow pattern and it's not gonna mess you up. Um, all right, let's try the, the whole tune now, A and B parts with um, these bowings. That's pretty much it with all the little variations thrown in. So uh, check that out. See if you can't grab onto that bowing. And um, that's pretty much the end of this lesson. I'll just play this tune one time at medium tempo. For those who have, um, have gotten through it, feel like they got underneath their fingers and are ready to, to play along um, to end this lesson, I'll just play this tune one time at a medium tempo. And you can play along. That is the tune Shelvin Rock. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. If you'd like to support my lesson series, you can do so by either throwing um, a tip in one of my virtual tip jars at paypal.me forward slash Chance McCoy Music or Venmo or Cash App, anything you use. It's always Chance McCoy Music is my username. Or if you want to become a full-time sponsor of these lessons, go check my Patreon page out. It's patreon.com forward slash Chance McCoy Music. 
and that's a great way to get involved and you can actually put your requests in there for the next lesson if you're interested. So thank you very much for watching this lesson. I hope you enjoy the Old Testament.